Hello. What is that? Oh, it's the. That's Alabama, my bird. For those of you that don't know, I have. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a video of the bird. He doesn't. He, He's gonna act the damn fool, so I don't I don't fool with him. I'd have to tape him, and he wouldn't wouldn't know that he's being taped. But that that's him in the background. He's not even in this room. He's not even in it. the the laptop was in the room with him, and I couldn't I couldn't get any videos done. I couldn't get anything done because when he ready to nap, he ready to nap, and he ain't trying to hear me carrying on no conversation. When he get up on that top perch, he ready to go to sleep. So anyway, I I hear him, but. I know I know what he doing. He only doing that because it's time for his snack. I I told him that I was gonna bring him some some cashews. So I like to to do the mixed nuts and give him cashews and um he don't particularly like the almonds but the cashews and the um and the uh pump uh pip uh, it'll hit me start with the pea pistachios. I'm sorry. You know I have an addiction problem, and it's hard sometimes. Well, this is one of those mornings, so I'm doing the best I can. So I heard him chirping, and I was going to start the whole video over, but, you know, I ain't got strength for all that because um, I wanted to get this video done. And first I wanted to say that if you're new here, um, my name is LaShawn, and I, look, see, I told you. But I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep going. You know, it's, it's going to, let me just breathe in and breathe out. You know, you know what's a terrible thing is when you're losing uh, the ability to control certain things in your body. It's, it could be detrimental. It could be very hard, you know, on the psyche. You know, like if you was a runner and then you, you could barely walk or something like that. And it's just, it's just, a, it's just a lot. And it's, it's hard for me. And I'm just trying to hang in there and do the best I can. But I'm not a complainer. Um, that's why I fight through pain and that is why I come on here every day to uplift and encourage people and to uplift and encourage myself. So join me today because I just want to talk about, um, temporary inconveniences because, um, I was thinking about that. Um, uh, I was thinking about that today because of, I tried really hard to get an appointment at the VA. I tried really hard to get an appointment and you know, to, uh, let me see. She said, oh, the earliest that the doctor can see you is October the 4th, I think she said. She could have said the 14th. I know it's a four in there somewhere. And I said, are you serious? Really? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's not going to work for me. I need to see the doctor before that. And then she went on and on about if it's an emergency, you could come in and and all that and it just was I was like you know after I've been on hold for like 30 minutes it just was it was like I was like I don't really have bad experiences with them it's just that it was a temporary inconvenience that's what I'm gonna call it because it was a temporary inconvenience and you know what those I'm stretching I, I just want you to know I'm stretching I'm not my back and everything so I'm gonna stretch while I do this video if that's okay with you I'm gonna stretch anyway it was a temporary inconvenience and um and and at the time I was just like Ugh. but you know what those uh those little temporary setbacks like that they can be resolved but when they happen and right when they happen they can oh you like Ugh. I was like, this is ridiculous. Hung up the phone and was, and just was just mad about it, you know. And when I went, I had to go to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom and I passed the mirror, I was like this. I was all frowned up, like I didn't even realize that I was frowning. But I was like, I was like, Father God, I need divine intervention right now. I do because this is that's how your day changes. That's how your mood changes. And but you have to get to a point where you can catch it. And I did. And walking past that mirror and seeing my face like, you know, to, to, yeah, I need divine intervention. 
Let me use the bathroom and let me pray for a minute. And that's exactly what I did. And then I sat still for a minute and I said, you know what? Let me let me call my regular nurse and see maybe. And, you know, I couldn't get her right away. But, you know, ain't nobody sitting around waiting on me. I get that. Uh, so I said, you know what? It might be better for me to go online because we have secure messaging where you can send a message to your nurse or provider or whatever. And I did, and I let her know. I was like, well, this this is what I need, and I need to see the doctor about this. And they're telling me that I can't see the particular doctor I needed to see um, until, like, sometime in October. I'm like, really? Really? And um, I left that message with her. And she uh, sent me a secure message back like an hour later and said that she'll work on it and she'll get back to me. So that was, and I left it at that. I was like, well, at least I got an appointment for October. So you have to look for the good. So the the bad news is that whatever's ailing me has to wait because I can't see that particular specialist until October. The good news is, is that I can go to the doctor and I got insurance. You see what I'm saying? The positive is, is somebody out there right now can't go to the doctor. Okay? So what the hell are you complaining about, Sean? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you that it was a it was a, a temporary inconvenience. And I chose to use it and change it and make it a positive situation. And do you know what? That nurse who is going above and beyond what she has to do was able to send a secure message to my uh, specialty provider. And even though it's still going to be a wait, I can't see that particular doctor to, you know, three weeks from now. But three weeks is better than... Uh, three weeks better than three months. So that's all I wanted to say today. I just wanted to tell you that a temporary inconvenience happens to all of us all the time. And it's up to us to be calm through that temporary um, setback and for us to um, look how to resolve it. And that's what I did. I frowned up about it. I prayed about it. I made a call. I tried to make you know something positive happen out of it. I needed help. I had to ask for help. All those things to... Um, I just... I just God did it. Okay, that's how, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say God did it. Uh, the power of God, I'm telling you, my back is killing me. The power of God is moving through and changing things, and that temporary setback has has become something that's gonna be better because I, I it's 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 exciting because I'm gonna get to see the specialist that I need to see. So the point is. When God steps into the equation, everything changes. So my equation was uh, like, I was mad. I was like, Ugh, ain't nothing going right already. Is this how this day going to go? Right. And then I had to calm down. I had to breathe. I had to say, I had to pray. I had to step out my comfort zone. I had to ask for help. See how fast I'm going? Because that's how quickly uh, the circumstances could change. But when God steps into the equation, everything changes. And that's all I want to say today, that whatever's going on is, is a temporary inconvenience. That's what we're going to call it today. It's, a, it's, not, it's just temporary, and it's going to pass. So let's breathe in, breathe out, and get this day going. I'm telling you, it's going to be a good one. I can feel it. It's going to be a good day. So let's breathe in and breathe out. Okay, so as you head out and go out in the world today, I want you to be positive. I want you to be caring and loving and have compassion and be humble and be respectful of people and their time and treat people with respect and you'll get it in return and just be happy today and don't let anybody steal your joy. Um, God loves you and so do I. Be blessed.
until we meet again. And, you know, don't forget. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment on this video. But um, don't forget to subscribe. That's very important. And for all of you who have, thank you and I appreciate you. Until next time, take care of yourself and be safe. Bye-bye.